What's up guys, I am here again working on the motor. Uh, gonna get it torn apart and put on a stand and ready to run, or at least try to run it. Uh, I'll flip around here and show you guys what I'm working with. So I took the valve cover off, all the push rods except for one are loose, so that one must be open. Um, that exhausts at least. Um, I'm going to drain the oil right now. If any is in there, it looks like it probably is. It's still pretty pretty wet in there, kind of dirty, but there it is, still dripping a little bit. It does have a hint of, I don't know, it looks green on the camera, it looks black to me. Uh, still dripping, and it's very dirty. I had to stick my finger in there because it was a genius and dropped the drain plug. There was a good bit of water or coolant that came out, I couldn't really tell, so you might have a bad head gasket. I guess we'll find out pretty soon. So the wrench is, or the filter is pretty well on there. I'm thinking I'm going to need a wrench or similar to get it off. So I'm going to hoist the engine up. First thing to get this motor off is removing that cover right there. I think it's just four bolts and four screws. And then we will rotate the motor and take each one of the flywheel bolts off of the uh, torque converter. Uh, so pretty easy, just got to get it up in there. So down to the bolts here, um, mine are little hex heads, I meant to de determine the size. Um, on my other motor in the Rambler now, they're 5 16 so we'll get these out and see what lies behind. So the cover is off, if we take a look in here, there's a bunch of crap in there, but uh, behind it all is the torque converter. Um, I will get in there and... Well, behind there is actually the flywheel, which is connected to the torque converter. I will get in there and show you guys what it is next. So based off of that, I'd say this trans needs uh, some serious help. Possibly even the motor, but the only access to the motor from here is the rear main seal. So, um, that it still might be okay. We'll see when we try to start it up here in the, the next video. But uh, what we're going to do is, you can see these bolts up here. There are four of them, one there. One over there, and there will be two on the other side. We'll get these two quick, and then we will uh, we'll rotate the motor and get the top two. That will release the, the flywheel from the torque converter. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is keep the torque converter in the trans, so if there is any fluid in there, still it stays in there and doesn't make a big mess in the unit. So I'm going to take these off quick, and uh, then we'll look at getting the, uh, the motor removed from the bell housing. Alright guys, so I took a little bit of a uh, break last time because it got dark out and I actually stripped out one of these. Uh, this is this one here? I don't know if it'll focus. But I was having a hard time, I put some heat on it and I hammered on this uh, 6 point impact socket. I was using a 12 point before and that's why it's stripped out. So now all four of the converter to flywheel bolts are done. Uh, so I have one more bolt to get the trans off here. Uh, also need to pop that off quick and uh, yeah, took that off last time should be able to pop the trans off get that off get the motor on the stand over there so I'm going to do that guys and I will update here shortly <laughs> So guys, uh, getting a little further, I'm getting caught up over here somewhere, I'm guessing we're just caught up on this, there's a little guide pin there, um, I don't think I missed anything that actually goes, connects to the block, because the starter stays on the uh, bell housing, yeah, I'm kind of using a file here as a pry bar, because I don't have a pry bar here, but uh, so this is a plate that's actually bolted to the block, so I'm trying to keep that on the block. It is the plate that lines up the, uh, the starter if I recall. So just working on that, just working my way around. I did take this off. This goes in, which is good. These are kind of hard to find. That controls the transmission pressure, which is pushed from this guy here back. Um, and it just tells you how much pressure you need in the transfer shifts when you're uh, driving around. So. I'm going to probably pull the starter off here and um, continue working my way around here. 
so I will continue to update you guys. <laughs> Starters out, as you can see on here, what I think I was running into, yeah, now we're pretty loose. Uh, since, it's kind of hard to see because I'm having trouble focusing, but since this tin plate is connected to the motor, the one bolt on this side, on the bottom there, goes through to the bell housing. The other bolt here goes through and it's a, a bolt and a nut on the other side. So I think actually what was keeping it together was the tin. Got that off. Looks like it was actually a fairly recent nap, but it's still got the sticker on there. So we'll test that out. Um, outside of that, I'm uh, going to get this separated. I think we should be okay now. That bolt is out. Again, just going to be very careful removing this because of that tin. That does need to be on there, as you saw, to mount the starter up. And if you bend it or anything like that, you can bend it a little bit, but if you do it too bad, it could cause issues in the future. So I'm going to continue with this, and I'm going to try and keep the tin on the motor side. I don't know if you can see any of the bolt holes. I believe they're on the bottom. But there are two little uh, screws or bolts that go in and hold the tin to the block. So try and get the trans off the motor here and continue. One more thing to note that I actually forgot is this. Trans dipstick dip uh, goes up and amounts to the head here. Just the one nut. Uh, once I pop that guy off, it should pretty much fall right off. You can see we are about as free as can be here. The crank looks a little rough down there, but uh, we'll dig into that further soon enough. Um, this should keep the torque converter in the trans so we don't have any leaks. So I'll pop this off quick. I don't know if you can tell there, but it got pretty free on the camera, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, put this down and get that loose. I don't know if you guys can see there, but we did start leaking coolant just out of the uh, water pump housing there. Not totally unexpected, as I don't think it doesn't really drain well until you actually go ahead and pull the heads off and stuff. So I don't know if you saw it earlier, we dripped a little out of the rear here. Uh, not unexpected again. It happens, so. Got that done. Um, I'm hoping we can get this on the hoist with the flywheel on. Just because I wanted to keep the flywheel on, but if not, uh, we can pop that off quick. It's just those three, three bolts, or six bolts, sorry. So, we'll see what we can do here. So the easiest way to do this, if you have a stand like this, and I think they're all pretty much the same for the most part, is uh, just pull the pin here, put that aside so you don't lose it, pull that out, and we're just going to mock this up on the block, and then we can lift the block up to the, the stand height and go from there. <laughs> So there we are, quick once over, just make sure we're not hitting these bolts on the flywheel. Probably won't damage it, but just want to be safe. Um, it's nice and sturdy, I tried to get it as even as I could, it might be off a little bit, but just want to try and distribute the weight as evenly as possible. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is just jack it up, get it on the stand over there. Uh, no idea where I'm going to put it, one of my goals this week is to get the Rambler in here as well, because wood flooring is getting done at home. That might be a bit of a task, so uh, good to get it up, get it up on there, on the stand, and uh, I guess we'll go from there. Easiest way to do this since the uh, stand's a little lighter than the, the motor is we just lift it up, push it on, push it can. Grab our pin from earlier, drop it in there, so if you want to rotate, let me put it down, 
And uh, we should be able to drop it down on the ground now. We are finally on the engine stand. I'm gonna throw a rag in here just to make sure it doesn't leak all over the floor. <laughs> I'm not supposed to stain the floor. Uh, looks like it was stained before me, but um, yeah. That's that, gonna loosen the bolts up here quick. So now that, now that we're on the stand, um, it might sit for a little bit. I'm actually in the process of looking for a home. Uh, trying to get out of this unit and out of the parents' garage. So looking for a home, a little place to call my own, and a little place to set up kind of a, a shop of sorts. So that's where I'm at in terms of you know building this. I still want to do a step-by-step, -step, uh, try and teach you guys as I go along. Um, not a whole lot of information on the AMC 327 out there. So just going to keep doing videos while I can. Uh, share some of the cool facts that I know on this motor and uh, hope you guys learned a little bit about building motors in general along the, rest, along the way. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the plan. Like I said earlier, 327, two barrel, probably stock pistons if the walls of these cylinders look okay. Alright guys, so I got the motor all sorted out. Trans is on the dolly, moves real easy, so I totally recommend a dolly if you're going to separate a motor and trans. Uh, obviously the engine stand for the engine. Um, one thing also is when you're doing this and starting to take everything apart, have some baggies and a permanent marker just so you can label everything. Um, I ended up just putting everything back for now, so the bolts and stuff. Um, but later on I am going to want to kind of mark those as I tear it down. So make sure you have those. Uh, also just to show you guys what we did here, you see that trans is just a mess. But um, So here is a torque converter. On the inside there's a seal. So if we go back into here, right about here is a torque converter seal. I didn't want to make a giant mess with trans fluid. I'm willing to bet uh, there's a good bit in there. It is showing on the dipstick. So. Uh, that's why I took those bolts off the flywheel. It allows us to not have to make a giant mess. And um, I'm thinking about selling this transmission, and it'd just be easier to sell like this to somebody else. So that kind of sucks. But well, um, yeah. So this one's real complete with the alternator, everything. Water pump still seems free. So like I said earlier, I'm willing to bet a wood fire, but uh, just not really a good way to do that right now. So. Got it out, got it sitting. Let's sit crook it a little bit. Stand it up there. It is a dirty mess, but we'll start to get it torn down. Um, and yeah, just got everything kind of reorganized. Uh, I got the rear quarters here, the front fenders, the new old sock front fender. It'd be nice if I could find a place for that. I'm thinking about hanging it up on the wall up on here just to get it up and out of the way. Um, then I can move all this stuff over. So guys, I'm pretty excited to get this motor going. I think it's going to be a good opportunity for me to kind of teach some of you guys that are watching that are maybe less familiar with the engine building process as to you know what, what steps to make. Um, I also think it's going to be a good opportunity for me to get a bunch of information out there on the AMC 327. It's kind of a lost motor. It's a Gen 1 motor. Everyone seems to like those 360s, the 401s, 390s, etc. Um, which are Gen 2 motors, so the 327 and uh, you know all the Gen 1 motors don't seem to get a whole lot of attention or love. So I'm pretty excited to get that out there. Um, as for my current situation, I am currently looking for a house. As you guys probably know, I'm living in my parents' house right now, kind of working out of their garage, uh, which is fine and all. I just think it's probably a good time for me to start uh, getting out on my own and getting my own space, stuff like that. So. That's what I'm doing, so if this build process seems like it's taking a little bit, that's probably going to be why. Uh, the housing market's crazy right now. i got to save up a couple grand cash in addition to what I have now, just so I can go out there and make an offer. Um, but I'm seeing a couple out there that I like. I am in contact with a couple of realtors and stuff like that, so uh, looking to get that kind of rolling here soon. So that's where I'm at now, guys. I look forward to updating you guys with videos on this build. Um, it is Sunday, Mother's Day, so I'm going to work on getting home, uh, edit this video, go spend some time with my mom, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll upload this hopefully Monday, uh, maybe Tuesday, it depends on when I get time to edit. So uh, that's where we're at now, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching, as always. It's much appreciated. I look forward to any kind of uh, 
comments, criticism, input on this new build that we're doing. And uh, I just look forward to uh, going through the process with you guys. So thanks again for watching, guys. If you like what you saw, please hit that like button. It helps me to kind of expand my, my viewers on my videos. And uh, as always, if you like my channel and my content, please subscribe. Thanks, guys.